Hey, what's going on, drivers? Jay Rich back again today. Talking about the CB radio and excessive static in the radio. There are several factors that do play a part in static on the radio, um, and that's what you're hearing, what you're receiving, not if you're putting static out, um, transmitting. It's what you're receiving as far as the static. There's a lot of factors to it. One's the radio, your antennas, your coax, the uh, weather plays a big part. And when you get into more heavily populated areas where there's a lot more CB traffic, you're definitely going to have more static there. Other things that play a factor in static would be um, cell phones, tablets, GPS units, um, your uh, power inverter, your refrigerator running. All that stuff can contribute to static into your radio. A good thing is to make sure your antenna's grounded properly, the CB's grounded properly. I know some of you guys are in company trucks and there's only so much that you can do to, to your uh, truck. And But what I want to show you today is what was causing a lot of my static. And I knew this for a while and I just dealt with it, just turned the squelch up. But once you start turning the squelch up so high, you get where you're limiting yourself on hearing other drivers because other drivers may not have as a powerful of radio as what you or I might have. But this guy right here is just a regular 12 volt phone charger plug-in. This right here causes a ton of static, ton of static. Now I'm gonna cut away from FaceTime here and I'm gonna show you on the radio itself exactly what this is doing. Stay with me. All right, so looking at the radio itself, see my static's very low. Now, I wanna show you, this is how I have everything plugged in. It's through one of these little three port chargers and they each have a on off switch uh, this one here is from a GPS. This one here is for XM satellite. There's a USB on the top. Uh, this is for my um, for my headset. Then there's a USB here on the bottom, which is for my phone. And um, you know this this is just a, a Walmart piece. I picked up 15, 20 bucks at Walmart and used some double sided tape to stick it up and out of my way. So, phone charger being here on the bottom. Okay. I'm going to plug the phone in while we're looking at the radio. And bear with me. Let's see if the static goes up. You see it's just sitting there bobbing around. There it went. See how, how far up up that went from down about a one to up around three. Now we're back down to one. And it's bobbing around because somewhere out there somebody's talking somewhere. This is uh, channel 11 so somewhere somebody's talking so you're gonna get them little bounces around. Hey you've been now I'm gonna plug in this charger. I'm gonna I'm gonna just plug it into the port No change. There I just unplugged the phone charger. Now I'm plugging the cable. Now the cable is plugged into here. So let's come back up here and plug the phone back in. Now you see we're up around five. See how far it's going up? Now, I guess what you're not seeing is I'm moving the cord around, I'm moving the phone around. Now we're up to seven, nine. Now let me unplug the phone. Down to two, three, one. Plug the phone back in. 
Back up to a five. Now, I'm gonna take and turn this off with the switch and see what it does. Right down to one. Turn it on. Turn it off. Say it's off. Turn it back on. Now I'm unplugging the phone. Now I'm just going to take the USB and I'm going to plug it in right here. Back to a three. So there you have it. All right, driver, so there you have it. You saw how much static this piece right here caused in the CB radio. So, if you're having issues with a lot of static, you go through your truck and turn on, just turn stuff on. Turn your headlights on, turn your fan on, turn your GPS on or off, turn your cell phone, or when you plug your cell phone in, if you notice static going up, if you've got one of these, more than likely it's gonna be this right here. So. I hope this might help some of you. So, if you have a question or comment, leave me a comment. Don't ask me what the hell is wrong with your radio because I'm not sitting in your truck driving down the road with you. But if you have a question or comment, leave me a thumbs up. It's always appreciated. And subscribing is definitely appreciated. We'll see you. Y'all be safe.